everybody it is your girl here genuinely divine coming at you today to do a video all about how to start your very own YouTube channel and get paid with less than 10,000 subscribers I'm so super excited to do this video I was gonna wait till I got to like 10,000 subscribers but I was like no what the heck go ahead make the video now because somebody is out there wanting to start a YouTube channel ready to get a payment every month from their YouTube channel but they just don't have all the information and maybe somebody that's close to them that they know personally don't have a YouTube channel so they don't know if it's real or if it's fake or whatever whatever the case may be today I'm gonna help you out now a lot of people have a misconception about YouTube a lot of people think that it's just as simple as you put some videos up and you get some views and subscribers you're gonna get some money well mm, it's a little bit different than that you know first of all if you're gonna start a YouTube channel you definitely need to have a passion behind whatever it is that you're putting whatever the theme of your YouTube channel is you need to have a passion for doing it it's got to be something that you love doing you know if you're just doing it to make money not nah, then it's probably gonna not work out for you you definitely want to love what you're doing because YouTube is a real job it's not where you can just post up some crappy video and think that oh yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna get a million views and then I'm gonna get some money no it's not that simple if it was everybody will have a YouTube channel everybody would be getting paid but that's not the case first thing you need to do is to have a theme for your channel you know come up with a theme like what are you gonna do on your channel what your channel is gonna be all about and when you're setting up your YouTube channel it's just like setting up Facebook Twitter or Instagram it's free to set it up um, you just put your information in there you make whatever information you want to make public public whatever information you want private to be private so you have those options and once you set up your channel the next thing you will want to do is come up with a name like you you want to know your name when you create the thing you want a name that's catchy um, that is relatable to your content that you're gonna put on your channel you know relatable to your theme so all of that is just really important so people will be able to find you the next thing you want to do is you want to think about your equipment now if you don't have expensive equipment that's okay you can just use your phone when I started my YouTube channel I used my Android and I just used the video part I didn't have any editing apps or anything like that because usually with Android the editing apps have a watermark I think you can pay to have them removed but however the watermark makes it very unprofessional so you definitely don't want to post a video with a watermark on it okay because in all actuality it goes against YouTube's copyright I believe for instance Viva video if it says Viva video you know, I just think I'm not sure because I didn't use it but I think that it will be a problem you definitely will want to remove the watermark for those of you, for those of you who have iPhones iPhones have iMovie iMovie is a wonderful editing app iPhone the picture quality the video quality is amazing also so you definitely can get an iPhone and if that's all you have that's really all you need to get started on your YouTube channel when it comes to terms of lighting you can use natural lighting like you have a place in your house that's like really comfortable like really good lighting where you can just like see yourself and you just look so nice um yeah you can use that lighting um also you can buy lamps that have like bright lights like led lights um also you know if you want to buy a ring light or invest in light boxes you can but I don't suggest that until you really know that YouTube is what you really want to do and if your channel is gonna prove to be lucrative for you because you don't want to waste any money you want to be able to use whatever it is that you buy for YouTube after you're not interested in YouTube okay 
or if you ever are uninterested, you want to be able to use what you have. And if you buy light boxes, you're not gonna use them if you're not making videos. I don't think so. When I first started, again, I, I did use my iPhone for a lot. Now I use the Mark Canon G7X Mark II Power Shot, which is oh, amazing. I love this camera. But you know, you don't wanna go out and invest like $700 for a camera if you don't have to. You know, as you start making money on your channel, you can invest your money back, invest your money back into your channel. When it comes to backdrops, you guys, you can always order backdrops. Um, I'm gonna put the links down below for my softbox lighting. Um, I get everything from Amazon. Um, also for my backdrops, I will also put those down in the description box just in case you guys do wanna buy something. Some, some of these things are kinda like inexpensive where you can go ahead and invest it because like less than a hundred dollars you know for your lighting and your backdrops you know only even if you only have one backdrop that's cool it just doesn't matter also the tripod i will put the tripod link down there everything from amazon twelve dollars maybe not expensive for the tripod you're definitely gonna want to have a tripod because tripods help you to hold your camera still nobody wants to watch a crappy video that's constantly moving everywhere you know no stabilization no you're gonna click off of that think of yourself think of how you feel when you're watching a movie on tv and it's all grainy it's all jumpy it's all moving around you're going to click off of that video surely you are so that's the same with youtube youtube is youtube tv this is 2019 a lot of people are coming onto the youtube platform with um, macbooks um, dslr cameras lighting and all of that so the competition is extremely greater so you definitely want to you know make sure you have quality videos not backdrops when it comes to backdrops guys it is so easy to create a backdrop um myself i i do have backdrops that i have gotten from amazon i have several different ones and i also um buy like throw blankets and i just put them against the wall just to make it look just to make it look plain actually that's what this is it's just a blanket and i just put it there so that it will make my background look really clear no distractions all on me so yeah i didn't want to purchase a whole lot of backdrops with designs and things like that just in case I didn't like YouTube and then I've invested all this money I have all these backdrops that I can't use so you definitely want to use something that you already have so if you don't want to purchase backdrops then you want to find a place in your house where you have a really nice plain wall nice painted plain wall that you can sit in front of and do your videos in front of so that will work well as don't want to have a distracting background your background can take away from your video and also in your background you don't want to have noises that is not affiliated to the video so you don't want to have a lot of people in your videos making a lot of noise or your TV up loud you definitely want to keep your videos as professional as you possibly can make your video okay? depending on your thing now let's get into the stipulations of monetization now for YouTube I got in right before they changed the stipulation or when you can monetize your videos. When I got into YouTube and really started monetizing my videos, the requirement was 100 subs with 10,000 views. Now it is 1,000 subscribers, at least 1,000 subscribers with 10,000 watch time views. YouTube has changed the algorithm of YouTube and how they pay you. It's, that's why I wanted to do this video is because it's extremely important that you pay close attention to this. Long time ago when YouTube first started, reviews were everything. So when you got views, it didn't matter how long you watched it. If you clicked on the video, watched it for 30 seconds, that was a view. And that was counted, that was monetized. They were getting paid for that. But after people started creating so much clickbait and people clicking on, clicking off, YouTube came up with more watch time. 
that's why now to be monetized you have to have at least 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch time views and watch time views are a lot more difficult to get opposed to views because if you title your videos properly then you'll be able to get many many views but not a lot of watch time so now YouTube pays more with watch time views. That is where I make my money as a small YouTuber with less than 10,000 subscribers. I make money through my watch time views. As you can see, I have millions of watch time views, but I only have thousands of subscribers and views. So that's how you get paid every single month is by creating content that people really want to watch. So subscribers are important to get you monetized. Watch time views are important to get you paid. Views are important just to add value to your channel, but in all actuality, you need to focus more on your content. At the end of the day, you can have all of the high-end high -end cameras, lighting, backdrops, and editing apps, and all of that. But if your content is not what the people are looking for, or you don't have the right personality, you don't have the right information, or just the right content, then your videos are not going to get a lot of watch time or any views. Therefore, you definitely want to make sure that you're doing what you're doing on YouTube because you love it, not because you want to get paid. If you do it because you love it, eventually the money will come. Everything that I have, you guys, like all of my, the editing app that I use, I, I still use iMovie, I use Final Cut Pro as well. Um, it all depends on what you, what you're, channel is all about and what type of videos you are doing. iMovie is good for me. It works well for me. I have used Final Cut Pro, but Final Cut Pro is usually what makeup artists will use a lot of time. Um, gamers, probably Adobe Premiere. Adobe Premiere. Adobe Premiere is like really advanced. So you can do so much with Adobe Premiere. Um, you can do a lot with Final Cut Pro. It's like a step up from iMovie. iMovie is amazing, and especially for me, for what I do, I don't require any special effects or anything like that. The, the few effects that I use are usually available to me in iMovie, so I really use iMovie more than any other editing app, okay? So yeah, you'll have to decide which editing app works best for you once you start creating your content. That's very important. I hope I'm covering everything because I definitely want you guys to start your YouTube channel. I want you to be successful. I don't want you to focus so much on gaining subscribers and views. I want you to focus on creating good content, rich content that people want. So if it's anything that's going to entertain someone, it's going to make someone life, life funnier, it's going to motivate somebody, it's going to uplift somebody. I mean, all of those type things are what people are looking for every single day. So if you have any of that type of information inside of yourself and you don't mind putting it into a video and adding it to a YouTube channel, then the YouTube is definitely for you. Go ahead and do it. And I would suggest that you start today. And it's never too late to start a YouTube channel. I think a lot of people feel like it is, but it's not. And I had to do this video because I wanted you guys to know that. And I also want you guys to, you definitely want to pay attention to your analytics. Analytics are very important once you become, become a YouTube creator. I am a partner with YouTube now. I've been a partner with YouTube now for like, I think it's a one year. One year, I think I've been a partner for a year. A lot of people like how don't see um, a paycheck until like a year into YouTube. That was different with me. I was eligible for monetization two weeks after starting my YouTube channel. 
um so yeah i definitely am excited so you can be the same and now right now on an average i'm getting about 800 like eight like 900 subscribers per 28 days so that's really good that's rapid growth and that's pretty good you know for a small youtuber like myself so i'm definitely growing and i aspire to continue to grow and i hope you guys do the same so i wish you all the best in starting your youtube channel i wish you so much success i don't want you to feel like um you have to have a lot of high-end equipment no that's not necessary you just need to have high-end content that people want you want searchable content content also you guys i forgot something when you post your videos you definitely want to put tags in your video tags are once you put your video up it's going to ask you do you want to put any tags you definitely want to put tags you want to put the name of your video in your tag you also want to change up the name just a little bit because sometimes people misspell stuff so you still want them to be able to find you and also any type of videos that are related to your video you want to definitely put that in the tag section below as well um you definitely want to um go to google you'll go to the google bar and put in the title of your video and see what type of titles come with that video with that name and then you may want to incorporate those into your tags as well when it comes to music for your videos youtube do have copyright laws you cannot use like the popular music and stuff like that unless you get permission it's a lot of baggage behind using popular music youtube has music in the youtube creator studio where you can get it and you can monetize your videos with that also you guys you can use epidemic sound it does cost like $15 per month. I think it's $15 a month. I'm not sure, but however, you can um, get music from there, download music, and things of that nature. So I hope I covered everything for you guys. I'm definitely going to put the links to um, all of my equipment, especially the backdrop, the lighting, the camera, um, just some of the things that you may need to get started or you don't mind purchasing before you get started but however whichever i do wish you so much success on starting your youtube channel let me know tell me your youtube channel name in the comment section below so i can go over and subscribe to your channel um until the next time you guys i wish you so much love peace and many wonderful blessings bye now let's get into google ads Google AdSense is how we get paid on YouTube, especially small YouTubers like me. Um, all YouTubers who have ads playing in the front of their videos are getting paid from Google AdSense. YouTube and Google are partners, and once you become a partner with YouTube, YouTube splits the profit with you. So, Google AdSense, once you're monetized, they will send you, they will send you, you have to set up an account, the, the account that you want to receive your direct payments to. Once you set up all that information, Google AdSense is going to put maybe like 75 cents into your account. I think it varies for different people. Some people will say 75, 50 cents or whatever, whatever the case may be. They're gonna put it in your account, then they're gonna ask you to verify the amount of money that was deposited into your account. Once you verify how much money was put into your account, then that's when Google will verify that this is a um, an account, an active account. It is the correct account for you to receive your payments to. Each month on the 21st, you will get a Google ad payment if you meet the threshold. The threshold is of $100. I actually get paid every single month. And I've actually, I've only missed a couple of months of not getting paid, but lately I've been getting paid every single month because my watch time views is constantly up on my channel. Um, 
and and I don't have a million views I don't get hundreds of thousands of views on one particular video but channel views I have hundreds of thousands and so all of this is equated into your payment along with your thumbnails so this is how you can get paid with less than 10,000 subscribers and starting a YouTube channel in 2019 so yeah that is good now some youtubers have sponsorships where they're getting paid from google adsense as well as sponsorships so these are the big youtubers who are really you know bringing in the big bucks so for those of you who are just like me just super excited to start your channel and to make some profit off of it then go ahead start your channel today don't wait another minute until the next time guys bye